morning, we are highlighting a local woman's efforts to raise awareness about dementia. She's holding an event to honor her grandmother and give families a night to remember. The June Freeman Memory Night of Lights is taking place this Saturday in Grand Tower. And that's where we find Brooke Slyer this morning with more details. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dable. Right now, I'm at Devil's Backbone Park, and this is where a drive through lights display will be taking place this Saturday. And it's in honor and in memory of a local resident, June Freeman. So joining me again this morning is Jennifer Glodo, who is June's granddaughter. So thank you again for joining me this morning. You know, what does it mean to go ahead and put on this lights display in memory of your grandma, you know, raising awareness about dementia? I, I'm very proud of it. Um, I think dementia is something that doesn't get a spotlight on it a lot. Uh, patients tend to shy away. They feel embarrassed when they start to have symptoms. Um, family members tend to feel embarrassed for them. So I feel like it's something that's not talked about enough. Mm -hmm. um, that was just something I wanted to do to spotlight that. And especially with Graham being the way that she was, because you know they don't know they have dementia. Um, anytime we would say something and she was more herself, she would say, I don't have that, <laughs> you know, so they don't understand fully. And I just want to bring more awareness to that. I think the more we talk about it, the more we learn about it, the better. And, you know, right now, you and I are both wearing our mask. Right now, we are still in the middle of this pandemic. So how did that impact, you know, you being able to spend those last couple of weeks and months, um, you know, with your grandmother? Because it's something that other people are dealing with right now, too. Yes, um, we were very lucky. Uh, we were able to go in and see her at the care facility where she was. Uh, we, of course, had to wear masks and things like that. Um, there were some times where we couldn't go in. We had to do the window visits. Um, but it's that, that time with family so important, you know, regardless of what's going on. But especially with dementia care patients, they're already confused. But sometimes seeing a specific family member will spark with, you know, memory and will help calm them because they can get very agitated, you know, when they don't know where they are and things of that nature. So it's very important being able to go in and see them, you know, those types of patients. And it just, I'm so thankful we were able to go in when she was there. You know, absolutely. And as you said, you know, just a couple minutes ago, not enough people are talking about dementia, but that's something that we are going to be doing this morning and throughout the morning show. So we're going to get back to that a little later on this morning, but for now, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Brooke. Well, two men are making rescue attempts around the flooded area.